Ten years ago, a white supremacist with a restraining order against him for domestic violence bought guns and went on a sh shooting spree across Illinois and Indiana, killing two people and injuring nine others. Among those who lost their lives were Juan Jun Yoon, a Korean-American college student, and Ricky Birdsong, the former coach of the Northwestern University Wildcats, shot dead as he jogged near his home with his eight-year-old son and 10-year-old daughter. The project was there to help victims' families seek justice in court by suing the dealers who sold the guns to a man who was forbidden by law to buy them. The Legal Action Project has also assisted the city of Chicago and other cities in their efforts to hold the gun industry accountable for trafficking guns on our streets. I'm sure Sarah and Jim and all of us wish there was no need for the Brady Center. That would really be something to celebrate. But that's not the world we live in. We're shocked by the shooting death just a few blocks from where we're meeting for lunch today at the Holocaust Museum last week, a vicious hate crime in a sanctuary of tolerance. We were horrified by the massacres by gunmen at Columbine High School, Virginia Tech, represented here today, and in my own home state at Northern Illinois University. Sometimes it seems we are so numbed by the scale of such tragedies that we fail to notice the deadly daily toll that guns take on America.